We are terrestrial creatures. We live on Earth, and we have an activity today that you can do at home dealing with Earth science. Hello, explorers. My name is Mr. Jose. When it comes to Earth science, events can happen very rapidly. We sometimes refer to that as being catastrophic, like an earthquake or a volcano. However, what's mostly normal is the very slow processes, such as weathering. So, what I have here is I have four bottles, and they should look exactly alike in appearance, with the same amount of liquid and the same amount of rock and the same type of container, but this bottle is gonna be shaken 40 times, this bottle is gonna be shaken only 20 times, this bottle will not be shaken at all, and then our last bottle, maybe you observe that it has something a little different. It has some duct tape around the cap of the bottle because this bottle has also a liquid in it that's clear and colorless, but if you look closely, it's bubbling. Weathering can happen in three different kinds of ways. First of all, you can have just simple physical weathering where you have an object being pounded. So what can pound rock? Wind, hail, ice. We're gonna shake this 40 times really quick. One, two, three. 40 shakes later. What do you notice immediately? Notice that the liquid has become very cloudy. Ask yourself, how come it's cloudy? What's causing that cloudiness? And hopefully you'll come to the conclusion that that cloudiness was caused because the rock is already starting to break down and turning into dust and it's clouding up the liquid. Now, if we do this 20 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, we will also notice a little cloudiness, but when you compare these two bottles together, you'll notice one is more cloudy than the other. Now, how do we explain that? That's because there's more physical weathering happening in this bottle versus the one with 20 shakes. Now, we are not gonna shake bottle C at all. In science, we call this a control because it's our comparison so that we can make inferences and conclusions. Now, lastly, I'll shake this last bottle, and I'll shake it only 20 times so that we can compare it to bottle B. Oh my goodness, look at what's happening in this bottle. There is a tremendous amount of action going on, bubbles, cloudiness, everything is happening at once in this bottle. And then when we compare these bottles, we have to ask ourselves these questions. Which one of these is uh, creating the most weathering the fastest? And hopefully you chose bottle D, because bottle D not only had physical pounding, but it also had another type of weathering called chemical weathering. So what does that make you think? If you inferred that these bottles had water, you were correct. They have water in them. However, the last bottle has vinegar. Vinegar is an acid, and I think a lot of you know that acids have a tendency to corrode or eat other objects. All the materials that are created by weathering usually stay right in place, but when those materials get moved by either water or other factors like uh, wind or rain, we call that erosion. So you can do this at home, be a scientist, use your senses to observe and prove it to yourself uh, the action of weathering at home. It's great being with you today. I hope you enjoy this activity.